I was on a trip recently with my friend and um, she was telling me, well, I got, basically I told her that, you know, um, I enjoy my menstrual cycle, like I enjoy my period or having my period. And she was like, really? I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, she's never heard anybody say like they enjoy their menstrual cycle or their period before. And she was like, why do you like your period? And I was just like, well, for me, my period on coming on a consistent basis shows that I'm healthy and normal. Um, it gives me a time to reflect and rest. And um, I personally believe that there's a power in our menstrual blood, my personal belief. I wish on all the people who and um i think the next day she was just told, telling me like she's never heard anybody say that they've enjoyed their cycle before and um it makes her want to like look at her cycle differently and i'm like oh that's good and it just made me th think about well how many other women feel the same way how many other women don't like their menstrual cycles don't like their periods and um are not able to kind of look at it from a positive perspective so i guess i wanted to talk about that today guys hello if you guys are new here my name is olenike osibawale i am the host of the selfish babe selfish talk podcast okay and also the founder of the evolving butterfly my spiritual women's wellness company where i sell products um basically to help women heal and get on their spiritual journeys when it comes to their womb and yoni spaces if you're looking for the goddess vaginal detox pearls because you want to cleanse you want to manifest from your womb space you want to increase in your self-love you want to detox your eggs you want continued alignment and transformation you want to relieve yourself from hurt pain and grief you want to heal possibly from sexual abuse and maybe you're dealing with some things like pcos endometriosis um lack of wetness not um non-scheduled periods you know periods not coming on time then you may want to try my goddess vaginal detox pearls um all of my pearls are blessed and you can find them at the evolving butterflies.org linked below now um I've always been somebody that has always wondered like what is the energy or energetics behind certain things and so for me when I began learning about womb wellness and learning about healing your womb space and looking at your womb space from more than just a physical perspective um, that included my menstrual cycle and so for me um, I have never been on birth control let me start off by saying that I've never been on birth control I've never taken the pill or I've had an IUD or have used a shot. I have used condoms. That's the most birth control I have ever used. Um, I am now with a woman. I've been with a woman for four years, but when I dated men, I would just use condoms or the pull-out method. And then when I got pregnant and then eventually had an abortion, I was like, I can't use the pull-out method anymore. Condoms, okay? So then I just wanna make that very clear for ladies out there. My menstrual cycle has always been pretty good. Um, I think it was when I was 14 that I got mine. I'm trying to remember. Maybe I was 14 or maybe I was 12. But um, I've never had too much cramping. I've had some cramping, like a slight tummy ache sensation, but nothing too bad. And it's normally always just come, come on time. And for me, I've been very blessed to have those type of periods. I know that there are some women out there that are always throwing up or they're hunched over every month or they're bleeding way too much than they need to be bleeding so for those ladies that have those type of experiences with their menstrual cycles and their periods i get it like i get why you may not like your cycle now if you're a woman that's wanting to learn how to start liking your cycle then just continue listening i think one way you can start learning how to like your cycle is by kind of begin tracking when it comes because this is going to play an important part so begin tracking when your cycle comes you can use a free app such as flow right everybody may have flow on their phone download flow start tracking when your cycle comes if it comes regularly and the reason you're going to want to start tracking is because when it begins begins to get closer and you're feeling like it's getting closer and maybe you have like um, a job that you have to go to like physically get up and go to maybe you can start requesting time off for your first or second day of your cycle depending on which one you feel like you would need time off if I had to physically go somewhere, I would probably request my second day off because my second day is more heavier. My first day is just starting, I'm good. My second day is more heavier and I usually don't really feel like talking to a lot of different people. Like if you're not my lover, then I don't really want to talk to you. <laughs> 
So um, I would more than likely request my second day. So you kind of have to know you like, is this your first day? Is it your second day? Is it your third day? Like, how are you feeling? And if you can have a job that's flexible where you can request that time off, then I would start doing that because then you're going to be able to, number two, spend that time with yourself. So on your cycle, uh, maybe the heaviest day or those couple of the first three days, you want to spend more time with yourself. And what that means is maybe you probably won't be as outside during that time. You may not be hanging out with all your friends during that time. You may be a homebody during that time because spending time with yourself, I feel like is really important on your cycle and even before your cycle. Um, for me, when I'm spending time with myself, I think it just gives me a chance to kind of settle in my new body. I feel like when we're having our menstrual cycles, we are cleansing and we are shedding not only on a physical level, like, right, we're shedding the uterus lining, but um, I feel like on an energetic perspective, we are also shedding something. We're shedding something, all the, all the things that happened that month, all of the emotions, all the experiences that we've experienced possibly. And in this episode, I'm going to add a clip that I posted on my Instagram about uh, emotions and menstrual cycles and how I feel like personally for a few of the months that I've had my cycle, I feel like I have emotionally shed a lot. Like I've had times right before my cycle where I would be in bed just bawling my eyes out or crying because of how hard everything felt. But on a day to day, it normally didn't feel like that, but it wasn't until my cycle was almost there or coming that I was able to feel all of these emotions that I just probably didn't feel that much on a day to day. But I feel like on my cycle, all the walls get pulled down. I want to talk about like um, full moon and new moon bleeding. I'm only really talking to the, the girls that are on your full moon, but for the ones that don't know if you bleed on the full moon, the waxing moon when is when the moon is getting full the waning moon when the moon is becoming the new moon or decreasing or the new moon when the moon is dark when you can't see it i had seen a post by this page called the at the flower child bruja which is b-r-u-j-a and they had did a little slideshow a carousel post of like um you know what it means to be on your cycle and when and so for those that bleed on the full moon, it says that you ovulate during the new moon. Typically, these women resonate with the darker feminine energies, focusing on healing, release, magic, and shadow work. Women who menstruate when the moon is fullest typically shine their light downward and outward, much like the moon, and are usually undergoing shamanistic transformation, high priestess initiation, and are getting in touch with learning, integrating, and sharing the unique wise woman healing ways with their community and their earth and i really resonate with that but i also want to read something else somebody she said much love peace power plus ease to all of the red bruja bleeding and shedding during this full moon phase you are the healers the shamans the medicine people the wise ones it wasn't until 2022 that my cycle started bleeding on the full moon i used to be a new moon bleeder and if you don't know the difference, I just gave you the full moon bleeding and what it means, like healers, shamans, um, priestesses, people that are sharing their knowledge for their community. That's where I am right now. That's the phase that I am in in my life, in my womanhood. And so my bleeding is now on the full moon. And um, I'm actually happy about that. Um, I'm happy to have that knowing. Now, for those that bleed on the new moon or the other phases, you can look it up on YouTube. What does it mean to have my cycle during the new moon? What does it mean to have my cycle during the waxing moon? What does it mean to have my cycle be on the waning moon? Because when you start looking up what you're, where you're bleeding and where you're at, it may add some more information about where you're at in life at this time. And again, it also gives you some like perspective of like where like energetically spiritually where am i right now and i feel like when you just look at your cycle like i just bleed once a month and i'm not having a baby right now then you don't kind of like get it like you don't get it like like you don't understand the full power of what it means to have your menstrual cycle and like what each phase tells you and how you can kind of prepare yourself right and so for me knowing this about me being a full moon bleeder and learning about where i am in life does this not align to you guys about about my business 
right? If you look, listen to the last podcast, you guys know that my original business, Goddess Detox, that I've had for seven years is down, done. And now I have changed it to a new business called The Evolving Butterfly. And I told you guys in that podcast, I explained like why, what The Evolving Butterfly means and the different packages that I have for women and how I'm just up-leveling women understanding the spiritual perspective of using the Goddess Vaginal Detox Pearls. For me, it makes sense now that I'm a full moon bleeder. It makes sense of the transformations that I've experienced. Um, and so for me, when I'm bleeding, I'm taking time to myself um, or I'm just laying in bed with babe. Sometimes I am smoking some mama cannabis. I feel like smoking some mama, mama cannabis is extremely helpful during your cycles. I feel like for me, mama cannabis is an herb that allows me to have a lot of good spiritual insight, allows me to relax and just receive. I really feel like it's a very feminine, ener an energetically feminine plant. And so that's another way you can honor your, mem your menstrual cycle is by maybe if you are a person that indulges in those herbs, maybe having some of that. Some people may be into like chocolate mushrooms, maybe having some of that. Some people may be into like, you know, people used to really be into smoking the herbs like the roses and the lavender. Maybe you wanna do that. Maybe you want to have some red clover and red clover tea, hibiscus tea, and um, red raspberry leaf tea. Those teas are really good for the womb spaces and a wonderful time to drink those teas is when you're on your cycle. Um, so having those teas and maybe you want to speak some affirmation over the teas such as I'm honoring my divine moon time. I know that my divine moon time is a powerful time. I am resting and relaxing during my divine moon time. I know that this is a wonderful time to take care of me. So you see these are some of the affirmations that just kind of came to my head just now. So it's just like these are some things that you can be saying to yourself, saying to your womb space, right? Taking your hand and saying to your womb space during this time. But another thing I think you can do to make you feel good about your menstrual cycle is to start taking baths on your cycle. I remember there was a time ago, a long time ago, I posted a, a uh like I just posted that I take baths on my menstrual cycle and people were just very disgusted. And I thought that I was so weird because I was just like, it's just a bath though, like why y'all? And I guess for some people, they're so grossed out by their menstrual blood that they're just like, they wouldn't even take a bath. Like they would not sit in the tub naked because they feel like all the blood would be in the tub. And for me, when you're taking a bath, like some blood is gonna get in the tub, but not a lot of it. Like there's gonna be some definitely but it's not like a whole lot as if you're like peeing or pooping on your cycle it's gonna be different like the water kind of stops it a little bit but i like to take a bath on my menstrual cycle because i love the heat first of all and so if you're a person that's having some cramping having that heat on your womb and on your on your belly it feels really really good and then also like i like to pray for myself while i'm in my bathtub and for me i think my menstrual blood is extremely powerful and so you know i may be in a bath saying some affirmations for myself and i just feel like my prayers are just extra powerful because i'm bleeding and that's me that may not be you and so i feel like these are just a few ways that you can start implementing when you have your cycle or like ways for you to like your cycle and enjoy your cycle now for my women that are really that really have debilitating cycles meaning that they can't function it's too painful that's the first thing that needs to be fixed when that starts to get fixed then i think you can start enjoying your cycles so maybe you want to use the goddess vaginal detox pros to see if they can help regulate your cycle to see if it can help relieve your cramping right we've had women who have used the pearls and um, their cycles will come and they would be so shocked because whenever their cycles come, they would always be in pain. And so when they had a cycle and they, they weren't in pain, they were shocked. Or maybe they have less pain or maybe um, they use it and for three months their cycle is pain free but then after three months they have to start again that's just because like those herbs that are in my goddess vaginal detox pearls like angelica like mother wort mugwort th these are really nourishing herbs for the womb space and healing and my pearls add a lot of heat to the womb space um and so when women use it i feel like 
it can help them for like three months if they have really bad cycles and then they'll probably have to use the pearls again just so that those herbs are in their system really helping them through their cycles so that is another option that you guys can try i would also recommend yoni steaming you guys know i also sell the yoni steams at the evolving butterfly.org yoni steaming is really good again because it's adding heat to the womb so after your cycle ends you may want to start yoni steaming so that you get ex you can get excess shedding out and maybe you want to start yoni steaming a week and then a week two weeks and then two days or so before your cycle like on a consistent basis so if you didn't want to insert anything into your yoni but you wanted to relieve your cramps or just connect then you can steam at that time frame and you're going to be able to see a reduction in your cramps for the majority of women that use the products but those are just some ways that i do to honor to honor my cycle like i'm really relaxing i'm really chilling i'm doing what i want to do i am feeling all the feels um but i think my menstrual cycle is important and powerful and i love it again i haven't had birth control um now i know there's some women that are in relationships and they prefer to be on birth control and that's good but i also want you to be mindful about what type of birth control you're on are you on a birth control that is less toxic and that is you know just just not harming you in the long run like think about that like i get like the intercourse perspective and not wanting to have a child perspective and that's cool but kind of think about on the long run how you're able to connect to your womb space because there's been some women that's like hey i don't want to be on birth control anymore i feel like i actually want to connect deeper to my womb space and i want to start having my cycles and that could be you and that's good too so i would just like to say just think about where you're at in life and think about your connection to your womb and the connection you want to have with your womb now i'm going to insert the clip that i talked about when it came to the emotions i love you guys it's your girl olini get oc here with the selfish babe selfish talk podcast checking out and i'll see you guys later bye do you ever think about your emotions and your menstrual cycle like i know for me recently over the past year when my cycle is near i can get into these really sad episodes where any little thing will make me cry and recently i think like two days ago i had one of those episodes where i was just really sad that day and so I went out into nature, grounded myself, sat by the river for a bit, came home. And then I was just in bed crying when I came home. And I was just really crying about how life was feeling so hard, you know, and why it felt so hard and how it's never felt this hard before. And the next day or so I was, I was good. And then the next day my cycle started. And I was thinking like, like, why does that happen right before my cycle? Like, of course, the hormones, like hormones dip, right? But then I thought about, well, what does this mean like on a spiritual level? And so I kind of just kind of thought about what it meant for me. And the conclusion that I have come up to at this point in time is like, I think right before my cycle, my body and my spirit tells me how it really, sh it gives me, it basically takes down the wall and lets me feel all the feelings of, of what I'm going through and what I'm experiencing. I think on a day-to-day, -day, I have a lot of what people could say resilience. I am a go-getter. I can continue to push on even when hearing some bad news, right? And so on a day-to-day, -day, I'm just like, oh man, that sucks, but let's keep going, right? But near my cycle, it's like this wall, the wall of resilience falls down, it crumbles, and spirit is just like, feel how this really feels. This is actually really tough, and this is actually really hard, and yeah, it really does feel unfair, and that's okay to feel that way. And so on that day, I can cry, and can be upset about it, I can be in my woe is me mode, and I just allow myself to feel. And I think what I'm learning is that my body and my spirit right before my cycle is just giving me that time to cleanse it all out through a good cry and then cleanse it all out through my menstrual cycle. Has this happened to y'all? I know some people talk about PPD and like the really severe um, episodes of depression right before your cycle. I haven't had that, but I do notice that sometimes it'll be like a day or so before my cycle. And if I was experiencing something really tough in my life the month before, that'll come up for me. That'll be what I can't stop crying about. But this doesn't happen every cycle. So these are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think.